Welcome to Thornhill Primary School. My name is Miss Lewis and I am the head teacher of Thornhill Primary School. I've had the wonderful privilege of being the head teacher for the past five years and I am loving every moment of my time here. Thornhill is a very creative and collaborative school. We have a wonderful team of teaching staff and support staff that work together to provide a fantastic educational provision for all of our children. Our teaching staff really work hard to ensure that children are able to be inspired, they're able to be challenged, they're able to build resilience, and most importantly, they're able to have fun while they're at school learning. I have a fantastic senior leadership team. We work together to ensure the outcomes and the provision at Fall Hill are catered towards all of our children. We have aspirations for all of our children, irrespective of their starting points, irrespective of their social background, and irrespective of their individual needs. We believe that every single child at Thornhill should exceed in some way or another. And I'm really pleased to be supported by an excellent and outstanding governing body that ensures the strategy and the vision of Thornhill is embedded within everything that we do. Welcome to Thornhill, the best school ever. Come and take a look inside. we provide a very bespoke environment that we've recently created. The outdoor environment and the indoor environment have a lovely flow and are natural and based on the philosopher Reggie Amelia. The curriculum that we provide at Thorn Hill is uh, very individual and is based on the child and is led by them as well. We enrich the curriculum with lots of activities and we go on trips we have launched toys into space, we have created films that are shown in the local cinema. We understand how daunting it is when choosing a primary school for your child, particularly if you have a child with special educational needs. At Thornhill, we are a truly inclusive school. We have many children with different needs and strengths and we treat each child as an individual and really look at tailoring individual support to those children in order to help them fulfil their potential and that is what the staff here strive to do day in day out. It is all about supporting children appropriately. Welcome to Kids Day 1, have a look inside my class.
Thornhill, we're extremely proud of the high standards children achieve across the board. That's it, EYFS, Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. Children far exceed national averages and Islington averages here at Thornhill and we're extremely proud of that. And some of the systems and strategies we use to ensure we get such fantastic results is first and foremost quality first teaching. Uh, we have extremely high expectations of teachers and the, the teaching strategies that we apply are based on the latest pedagogy. And we apply a range of interventions based on children's specific needs. For example, Nessie is a programme that tackles dyslexia within children, or we apply Numicon, which is a math strategy for developing children's conceptual understanding. We also have really, really high expectations for children's engagement outside of school as well. High quality home learning enables parents to be included in the learning journey. Hill, we teach phonics using the Read Write Link program. Phonics is a way of teaching children how to read using sounds rather than alphabet as lots of parents might be used to from when they were younger. So with phonics you teach children different sounds and eventually you teach them to join these sounds to make words and to read words. Welcome to Lower Key Stage 2. Take a look inside Neptune class. skill-based curriculum and in computing uh, we focus our skills on information technology, digital literacy and computing science. Children at Thornhill develop skills of programming, computational thinking, creativity, communication, collaboration, computer networks and productivity. Internet safety is so important for us at Thornhill. Each year we take part in the national campaign of Save the Internet Day. We host a Thornhill competition to get every children involved and engaged within the topics as well as assemblies. The children at Thornhill are so passionate about their learning and about investigating new topics under our curriculum maps that we're able to get some amazing outcomes from the children. It's really important to us that our curriculum is diverse and rich and reflects the community that we live in. We think about that through our uh, texts that we read, through the experiences that we share, and we have celebrations such as Diversity Afternoon where we get to celebrate all of our cultures and differences. At Thornhill we also have an enrichment programme, and the enrichment programme is because we think it's really, really important that children get an opportunity to develop a whole range of skills that aren't necessarily related just to English and maths. Learning is much more than knowledge, much more than exam results on a page. Learning is about developing the whole child, the whole person, uh, and developing really core communication skills and interpersonal skills. Welcome to Apogee Stage 2. We're going to show you Meteors class. We believe in breaking barriers and challenging stereotypes. Stereotypes around science, what a scientist is, and what a scientist may look like. We support students to develop scientific knowledge and understanding, and to know how that is used in the real world and how it changes over time and continues to change. We support students to understand the meaning of science and its importance, both in their own lives and in the wider world. We encourage students to develop a love of science, to be curious, to question, 
and to understand how science has a relevance to them in their own daily life. We support students to embrace mistakes as an important part of their learning. We build science interest, curiosity and science capital through clubs, trips, visits and connections with prominent businesses and local scientific organisations. Thornhill, we like to teach PE holistically, looking at the child at the centre, which means we want to focus on fundamental movement skills, giving children the confidence to take part in all kinds of different activities. We use sports coaches, bringing their expertise to PE teaching. We have swimming galas, we take part in football tournaments and Run Thornhill Run, which is an event that we all like to take part in. We celebrate children's engagement with PE with a weekly PE newsletter. And more recently, we sent PE kit bags home to each child to enable them to carry on with their physical activity at home. At Thornhill, we operate a breakfast club and an after school provision. Breakfast club is available from eight o'clock and children can stay at school plus all the way up until six o'clock. We have a designated member of staff who manages it, which enables parents to develop a really close relationship. At Thornhill, we are able to provide additional provision and resources to all of our children. And this is only achieved through the hard work and the relentlessness of the Thornhill Foundation. Over the past five years, whilst I've been here, the Thornhill Foundation have supported our science days, our art week, our history days, world book days, and a number of other activities. The Thornhill Foundation have ensured our vision for a library within the school has been realized. And today, I'm a proud head teacher of a fantastic library. Here at Thornhill we have a stunning and newly built library. The pupils had a hand in the design of it so it's extremely inspiring and it is a really child friendly place to be. Every week each child has the opportunity to visit the library, to meet the librarian, to discuss what books they want to read next and to select their own to take home from a wide range of diverse and modern authors. Through the course of the pandemic we have managed to keep our library running safely. It has made a world of difference to our children, many of whom don't always have access to books at home. During break times, we have book clubs and the space has provided an excellent opportunity for author talks and events. So the library is a space not just for our pupils, but also for the whole Thornhill community. I feel very happy because there's lots of books there. I'm just really happy to read them. The best thing about this library is it was designed by children and it was made for children. So, you've had a virtual tour from Thornhill Primary School. I really hope you've enjoyed what you have seen and what you have heard. Thank you for visiting us, girls. We really hope you enjoyed it. We will really like to see you again.